Guys, ChatGPT is changing a lot of things for a lot of business owners. And even more prevalent in the short-term rental space, I think there's a lot of opportunity to get a lot of your time back. I've seen a lot of stuff come out recently that's more of like the intangible things of what you could possibly do or looking forward to the future. But I think there are some really tangible things that you can do today using ChatGPT to get your time back elevate yourself out of the more mundane, menial tasks that take a lot of time and spend more of your time focus on the high leverage, high value tasks that you should be doing as the short-term rental business owner. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. So I've got ChatGPT up in Airbnb and we're gonna walk through creating a new listing using ChatGPT to save you time, make it SEO focused and really drive the conversion on that listing to make it really high performing and the name of the game is to get more views, more clicks and more bookings and the more things you can load up in your listing to make it look really good and read really good. Like think of it as the marketing to your guests, right? You want to take them from a looker to a booker and ChatGPT can help with that. That's what we're going to get into today. And now the contractor started using the chainsaw to get a stump out. They're working in our yard and of course it's late April here in Utah and we got snow last night so they're working through that. I'm just ready for spring, ready for it to warm up. All right, so I skipped over some of the more boring stuff about the kind of listing to choose so we could get to this part right here about your listing title. Now, this is the first place that you can use ChatGPT on your listings to help you drive more bookings, and that's the whole purpose of this. And I think what uh, ChatGPT is really good at is it gives you ideas. So I kind of treat it like an idea generator with, like, give me options. And I'll give you an example here. So we'll pull up Chat ChatGPT. So I've got this prompt here. And then you can do things like this. So then you have 10 new options that you can use for your listing title. And you can take this up a notch. So you got this whole new list of ideas that you can choose from. And then you don't have to choose this exactly, but like I said, it's an idea generator. So you can take this and tweak it how you see fit. But I like this one, two bedroom cabin, mountain killer view deck. And all these are 32 characters, so it fits in here. Oh, that's 36 actually. <laughs> Make a killer mountain view. Go into that next section. Let's describe your place. Let's say unique and family friendly. Cause you sleep five people. So I can sleep, you know, uh, mom and dad and three kids in there in the bunk room. Good for kids. So now you've got your listing description. Say, and you can use a prop like this to give you ideas to start with. So this starts generating new ideas for you about your listing description, whereas which is the first thing guests will see when they click on your space before they scroll. And then that'll allow them to see if they wanna see more about it, read more about your space. So now this has to be 500 characters. So you could say, make it SEO focused. So now we're giving it the limits with 500 characters, make an SEO focus to narrow down that response and really get to the heart of what you're trying to accomplish here. So now you can take this, you know, edit it as you, how you see fit, but pop it right in here and make sure that it's fits your space. So what this does, it gives you ideas, right? Of, of the terms that people are gonna search for to make your listing hopefully convert more. Like for the marketing to your guests, this piece is really important. And again, it takes the work off of you of having to come up with all the ideas. So it really helps with that. So now we're under 500 characters, gonna click next. And, you know, I cut some of that stuff out for, for speed just to, you know, highlight how you can use this. Now we're going to publish this. We're going to just, you know, basically skip on this. But I will say when you do set up a new listing, you do want this checkbox checked. It's going to help push your listings up in the ranking. Well, thank you. A little note from Brian Chesky. Let's get started. So now we're going to go into our listings and see that listings we just created. Two bedroom cabin, killer mountain view. And we've got extra spaces to fill out where ChatGP can ChatGPT can help. So we got our listing description, and now we want to talk about the space. So that's where you're gonna put in your prompt here. All right, so I'm gonna put in that prompt.
about the space section that's really good like our cozy and comfortable two bedroom airbnb unit is the perfect mountain treat for your next ski vacation or weekend getaway so it's kind of hitting your demographic of you know who visits your area if you're at the beach it might be um, beach goers or fishermen or whatever but up here by the mountains we've got a lot of skiers people come to you know ogden for festivals and stuff like that so maybe we want to include something about the outdoor furniture So now we've included some additional amenities like our outdoor fire pit and outdoor seating that were close to local festivals like the Utah State Fair. So it's recreating this prompt and putting that new information. So you're not having to recreate this every time. It'll um, add in your inputs and you can just use the, the text box here to refine what you want to include in your about the space section or in your listing description anywhere basically and this just helps you get to that sooner so now you've got a, a pretty good seo focused um, about the space section that includes you know all your amenities and the appeal to book your place so we can copy that and drop it in about your space and maybe we want a really good one about guest access as well we can go back in here and say write a prompt So now we've got to write a prompt for guest access instructions with the perk of self check-in and, and an electronic lock so they can check in whenever they arrive. So, of course, no need to worry about coordinating schedules. Our Airbnb offers self check-in with electronic lock. So then it just makes it more clear for them. And again, this is a, I wouldn't necessarily take exactly what comes out of chat GPT, but then you've got the idea, you've got the frame, and then you can edit to make it fit your space better. And so on the other details, the note section, that's going to be more personalized to your listing and how yours is set up. Up. And this was a basement apartment in my house that I'm using to house act and live for free here in, in Ogden. So I'm going to provide a disclaimer for that. This kind of disclaimer, like, please note that our two story co cozy Airbnb is located in the basement of our home. So they might hear us walking above. We also have a friendly yellow lab. So just that other details to note section is where you can kind of set the frame for your listing, right? Not every Airbnb is a luxury Airbnb with that's completely private and has its own driveway or, you know, whatever that might be. So this is your your chance to to call that out in your listing, but using chat GPT to give you ideas to still make that appealing or make it sound appealing to guests or at least when they read it they're like oh okay you know that might be a convenience an inconvenience in another situation but here that's called out you know it's addressed whatever so then we'll put this in here interactions with guests i usually just say something like um yes no so i'm just Letting ChatGPT know that, you know, create a prompt that we're available when needed, but we have a 24 70 concierge team to help, you know, handle issues and questions. So we respect your privacy and feel, you know, you want to be at home during your stay. While we're available to answer any questions or concerns you may have, we'll leave you to enjoy your stay in your peace and quiet. So then you got a pretty good one here. Boom. And then the bulk of your new listing is created. So you've got all these, um, on your description, you got all these breakouts. This took me, you know, I could probably post this right now and get a lot of bookings, you know, it's SEO folks and all that kind of stuff. Of course, I want to spend the time to make sure it actually is, you know, tailored to my listing, conveys the ideas that I want my guests to have or the feelings that I want them to have when they're staying in our place and just their impression of the space. But I've got these pumped out and this took, you know, what was this, five or 10 minutes? Not that much time at all. And the last section down here would be getting around and then the neighborhood description. So we do something like this. <clears throat> so I want to give the guests a little bit of information about the the neighborhood. Talk about how it's nice and peaceful at the end of a cul-de-sac. And you know they can t walk around the neighborhood. Chat GPT is telling them so. All these things that can be perks that you might not think about that Chat GPT will help you. You know get there much that much faster. So then we'll take that and drop it in here as well. Boom. And we are rolling, getting a new listing done in record time.
So now for the, you know, getting around description, I want to tell them that it's a good neighborhood. We're close to things, but they, you know, probably want a car to be able to, you know, get around to, to the different shops and to, to dining and different things like that. So then I'll take that in here, drop it in as well. So then there you have it. You have the bulk of your listing generated in chat GPT. You've got all these, you know, ideas and, um, you know, it's SEO focus. It's got all your amenities in there and it takes you no time to set this up. And then your time is spent, you know, editing, make sure it conveys the right message. Um, and that you're, you know, you're really hitting the message home with your guests that you want to convey. Again, you can use the, the prompts there to edit that and, and, push that idea on them, whatever you're trying to create, and then you make the final edits, make it come out of your voice or whatever. And you can even, you know, change the tone, change the tone to, to, <laughs> I don't know, rude. Maybe you can see how it might change. I'm sorry, but I cannot fulfill that request. Okay. Can't make it rude. So you can change the tone to like warm and friendly or something like that, whatever fits with your request. Um, but ChatGPT, great way to speed up creating listings in your short-term rental business and that's just one of the many applications but i want to show you in practice and how you can tangibly impact your business using this so it's pretty cool right and a big time saver for you especially as you're scaling your airbnb portfolio and adding a bunch of listings at one time like currently just sold my last business and we're rolling over my 15 listings so this is something i'm using to make my listings more seo focused and you know drive bookings because those were built those listings were built a year and a half to two years ago before ChatGPT. So I spent hours, you know, maybe maybe an hour to an hour and a half on each listing and there's 15 of them, right? So it takes a lot of time to build that out. So this is a way to really expedite that. And if you wanted to take it up to the next level, if you use virtual assistants or VAs in your business, like we have several in the Philippines that are awesome that use this tool and then they can be the ones to go create the listing title and description and all that using these prompts you know you teach them and show them how to use it one time kind of what you're looking for and they go do it across all your listings and then again your job is just the editor to make sure it's conveying the message you want to do you you know you want to convey to your guests so things would be a big time saver for you and something that you can tangibly incorporate into your listings and if you're not making new listings use it on your existing listings and try to um you know make them more SEO focus or make them more amenity focus so that you show up on more searches and so when guests see your listings they're like oh you know I can see myself staying there I want to stay at this place because you know really good description they sold me right and I'm booking the place it only takes one of those to make it worth it so I think this will be good for you guys and if you have any questions put them in the comments below share how I use chat GPT in my business from social media to Airbnb to you know it, whatever other application that I use in. So we'll be happy to help there. And before you go, like the video and subscribe if you want more good short-term rental and real estate tips. See you guys next time.